Hi, I'm Song Bin, a first year PhD student at Postec, South Korea. I'm excited to present our work, Sound to Visual Scene Generation by Audio to Visual Latent Alignment. This is joint work with Arda, Hyunwoo, Professor Owens, and Professor Oh. Let's first have one minute quick preview. In this work, we propose Sound to Scene, a model that can generate images from sound. Sound to scene generates high quality images from diverse sound categories as shown here. And we demonstrate that the images generated by sound to scene can be controlled by intuitive manipulations, such as mixing waveforms in the waveform space or audiovisual feature interpolation in the latent space. Now let's dive into the challenges to achieving sound to image generation. The first challenge is the modality gap between two different signals. Even though both audio and visual signal can be represented as 2D spatial images, there still exists ambiguity when mapping from audio to image because each axis represents different information. The second challenge is the presence of outlier audiovisual pairs in the dataset, which can disturb the training of the model. If we randomly select audiovisual pairs from the video to construct the dataset, we cannot guarantee those pairs are always correlated. To address these challenges, we propose two approaches. First, we enrich audio features with visual knowledge to reduce the gap between audiovisual modality. Secondly, we introduce audiovisual pair selection method to extract highly correlated audiovisual training data. So the overall architecture is as shown here. Since naive end-to-end -end training does not work in this scenario, we designed our model using a module-based approach which includes an image encoder, image generator, and audio encoder denoted as sound to scene. Each module is trained separately to complete the entire task. First, we train on robust image encoder that can extract image features. Next, we train an image generator, which can generate high quality images with the image features from the image encoder. Once these two modules are trained, we freeze them both. Then we proceed to train the sound to scene model. We train to extract audio features that is aligned with anchored visual features using contrastive learning loss. In this way, we can enrich the audio features with uh, visual knowledge. After completing all the training stages, we can finally feed audio features into the frozen image generator to generate images. To train the model, we need to construct the training data set. Therefore, we incorporate sound source localization model to select highly correlated audiovisual pairs in the video. As illustrated in these figures, you can observe that the selected frames with our method contain more salient event compared to simply selecting mid frame of the video. From this section, I'll present several qualitative and quantitative results and the controllability of sound to scene. For training, we use subset of VGG Sound and Vegas dataset, which consists of 50 and 10 categories respectively. Here are the generated images by feeding single waveforms to the model. As shown, the model can take diverse sound categories, including animals, water sounds or engine related sounds and generate realistic images. So for example, if you hear lawn mowing sound and tractor digging sound, these sounds are confusing to humans, but the model can distinguish between the sounds and generate distinct images accordingly. In terms of quantitative results, we compare our model with prior approaches. Our model outperforms other methods by a significant margin in both FID and inception score. Additionally, our model generates visually plausible images, while other models struggle to produce recognizable images. And we observe that even without an explicit objective, our model allows controllable outputs to some extent by applying simple manipulations in the waveform space or in the latent space. 
This opens up interesting uh, experiments that we explore in the following slides. First is varying the volume size of the same audio input. You can see that by changing the volume of the train sound, the size of the train changes in the generated images. Similarly, the flow of the water is depicted differently with varying volumes. The second case is mixing waveforms. We combine two different waveforms into a single one and fit it to our model. As shown, our model synthesizes images by reflecting multiple audio semantics. For example, the railroad or a bird pops up across a snowy scene when mixing with the skiing sound, and the train and bird appear in the misty scene when mixing with the hail sound. From this experiment, we feed image and audio together to the model. By feeding them both, our model can generate images conditioned on both the audio and the image. For example, we can insert a tractor onto a beach image or stylize the party-looking building using cheering sound. Finally, we show image editing with volume changes. Given the paired image and audio, we can traverse the visual feature of this given image in the direction of volume differences of the paired audio. So as shown, the size of the volcano changes while this visual feature traverses to the volume changing direction. Similar with this water flowing example, you can see that the flow of the water changes with traversing the visual feature. In conclusion, we propose sound to scene for sound to image generation task. To do so, we created highly correlated audio visual training data and reduced modality gap by audio visual feature alignment. After training, sound to scene generates high quality images from diverse sound categories, and it provides intuitive way to control the image generation process to some extent by applying manipulations at both the waveform and latent space levels. That's all I prepared and for more details, please visit our poster and also the project page. Thank you for listening.